Well, Bob, thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you aboard. Let's jump straight into it, shall we? Some key releases coming next week. What should we be paying extra close attention to? It's quite a week ahead on the economic data front, but not without its key stats and policy decisions. For the US dollar early in the week, wholesale inflation and retail sales figures, obviously plenty of attention on inflation, but expect retail sales to be particularly key early in the week. Second half of the week, we've got Philly Fed manufacturing numbers and the all important jobless claims. Main event of the week, however, is the Fed monetary policy decision on Wednesday. Will there be the talk of tapering or even more? Um, so that's going to be particularly key. So expect those economic projections, particularly interest rate projections, to drive the markets. For the euro, relatively quiet week as well. We've got trade wage growth and industrial production figures for the eurozone through the first half of the week you know those are the only stats really to consider finalized may inflation figures are also due out for france germany italy and the eurozone barring marked revisions these should have a muted impact on the euro however for the pound key stats as well there's some important numbers coming up in the week ahead we've got employment figures expect claimant count and unemployment numbers to be particularly key then we've got inflation figures and wrapping things up at the end of the week would be retail sales numbers. These stats could really define the outlook from a monetary policy perspective for the BOE. Obviously there's one hurdle and that's obviously the government's plans on reopening and whether these new strains of COVID-19 will delay that. That would ease some pressure on the BOE to make a move. Elsewhere, Bob, what about the commodity currency countries, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand? For the loonie, it is a quiet week ahead. Key stats will be manufacturing sales figures early in the week and inflation figures. Expect inflation to be particularly key for the loonie, but obviously markets are expecting this upward trend in inflation. So we're not expecting a spike uh, should inflationary pressures pick up. For the Aussie dollar, quite weak on the economic data front as well. Employment figures on Thursday will be the key stats. Obviously expect the numbers to be particularly um, important. RBA is looking for uh, a marked improvement in employment conditions to support any shift in monetary policy. So that's currently looking at 2024. For the Kiwi dollar, we've got current account for first quarter and we've got first quarter GDP numbers. GDP numbers would be particularly key, but obviously we're going to be expecting some influence from economic data from China as well. Moving across to Japan and China, is there anything that's caught your eye there coming up in the week ahead? For the Japanese yen, finalized industrial production figures at the early part of the week. Not too much influence there, barring marked revisions from prelim. Trade data will, however, influence midweek, so expect plenty of interest there. End of the week inflation figures, don't expect too much impact from the inflation figures. Bank of Japan is also in action at the end of the week, but we're not expecting any surprises. For the Chinese one midweek, we're going to be looking at fixed asset investment, industrial production, retail sales figures. We've seen some disappointing numbers of late that have had an impact on riskier assets, so a further set of weak numbers will test market resolve midweek. And finally, Bob, we always like to finish with a geopolitics. Is there anything there that could cause any problems? On the geopolitical risk front, status quo really, we're, we're still looking at US China. Obviously there's Russia and then there's, you know, the Middle East and Iran and the Iranian presidential elections. So just need to keep an eye on things. You know, nothing boiling over as yet to cause any concern. Bob, thank you so much. Always an absolute pleasure. And we look forward to speaking to you again very soon indeed. And thank you all for watching. That's it for the week ahead. But we'll be back very soon indeed. Don't forget to head over and check out our Douglas Cobby TV social media platforms to keep up to date with everything affecting the markets. Until next time, goodbye.